Flack booked it down the corridors of the space station. He hadn't felt this much urgency in months, not since the engagement against Contra's men. But now, he moved like the wind yet again, determined to get to his destination with haste. Finally, he came upon his quarry. Commander Rackett. Good afternoon, Commander. Flack stood at a loose attention. Formalities were hardly necessary with Rackett. Flack, your heart rate hasn't passed 100 since that time Dino made ribs for dinner in the mess, Rackett jested. But Flack ignored this. He wouldn't be making excuses for his love of ribs. Listen to me, Rackett. His voice was serious now. A strange transmission has come through the comms channel. It was in a code we haven't used since the days of the Clone Wars. It took our decipher unit some time to figure out. But once they did, it was discovered that a unit of clones is in peril on the Zepho system. Rackett took a moment to think about this. He was worried, but he didn't want to speak too quickly. Ever since taking over for Rico, he had been trying his best to lead by example, but sometimes he envied Rico's ability. It was truly a loss to have him tramping around the galaxy, not here with the brigade. He hoped Rico would return sooner rather than later from whatever it was he was doing. Rackett respected the position of command, but he certainly didn't want it for himself. Then, a thought occurred to him. We don't have a unit on Zepho. At least, I thought. He cursed himself, thinking he might have forgotten. No, we do not, Rackett. That's the thing. And the code we received it was speaking objectively, as if it weren't even on the planet itself. We don't know who sent the code, or who the people on the planet even are. Sounds like a trap. That's what I was thinking, but at the same time, I checked in on Imperial positioning. Our scouts have intelligence that a large number of soldiers have been transported from their planetary perimeters that border brigade planets and sent over to Zephos instead. Meaning whoever is there is causing enough trouble for the Empire that they're becoming distracted from our front lines? Yes sir, and I have to say I'm jealous. I thought we were the Empire's one and only. If only that were the case. Racket played along with Flack's joke, despite the serious tone of the conversation. But he was deliberating inside. If there was some sort of heavy resistance, then it would be crucial for Rico's brigade to help out. Very well, Racket decided. Send in your personal fleet, Flack. Take the planetary airspace. Yes, sir. Sir, the mission was a success. It seems as though the Empire was purely focused on ground forces. It means the terrain below is treacherous with imps, but the space above was easy to take. They didn't expect us. Good, good. Send Aqua in for an invasion force. That will take time, sir. Aqua is in a... in a state right now. A state? Yes, sir. He appears to be grieving over the loss of Subsquad and Commander Rico, his closest mentor. We'll snap him out of it. It's not that simple, sir. Flack tried to hint at Racket to handle the men differently. Racket was a good soldier, but often led harshly. Racket looked at Flack for a minute. He knew he was right. War was brutal. He would talk to Aqua later. Very well. Flack, try to send transports to the ground for invasion. I don't have the men for that, sir. And there's another problem. One of our enemy's capital ships is out there. I didn't dare approach it with any of my own ships. It has some sort of prototype weapon on the front of it, large and shaped like a disc. I fear we'd walk into a slaughter, knowing what other terror weapons the Empire has unleashed on us in the past. Interesting. We'll need to take that ship out before we can land on the planet's surface with soldiers. You know what? Pull 55 and the 501st from Coruscant and send them in. They can take stealth ships into the hangar, and surprise the stormtroopers from within. Are you sure you want to use the stealth ships, sir? We only have a few. They're valuable. There's no time like the present to use them, Flack. Send in 55 and Glasden. They'll get the job done. Then we'll worry about the ground invasion later. Yes, sir. Flack went to go and execute the orders given to him. Racket, instead of feeling relieved of stress, felt more of it. Since Rico had left, 
Coruscant had been fully secured, but it could topple at any minute. Their garrison there was weak, and now he was making it even weaker, pulling out 55 in Glasden. And on top of all that, clone trooper production was at an all-time low. The Empire still had holdouts on the Kamino platforms. It meant production was only at half capacity. Despite Flak's efforts, Kamino was still partially in Imperial hands. He just hoped this mission would go well with 55, or else the Brigade would be one step closer to Armageddon. Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy, Daily Tactics here, and today we are back with Rico's Brigade, baby! That's right, Rico's Brigade Season 5 is finally here, and it's here in a big way. Season 5 is going to be a short season, the shortest yet, only 7 episodes. However, they are going to be very, very, well, I don't want to say good episodes, but they're going to be good episodes. I, I am really, really trying on these ones, and I think we are going to have some of the most fun we've had in Rico's Brigade in a long time. And the entire season is going to be coming out over the span of a week. Seven days. So episode one is today, episode two is tomorrow, episode three is the next day, etc, etc. Uh, it's going to be a big undertaking, so I would really appreciate your guys' support on this. If you want to hit that like button, it would be so unbelievably appreciated if we could get a thousand likes in the first 24 hours. That would be absolutely insane. But don't worry if you're, uh, you know, bummed out that Rico's Brigade is going to be short and sweet this time. There will be a longer season of Rico's Brigade next, uh, and it will not take eight months to come out, I promise. I will release it far, 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 far sooner. Um, and potentially a Rico's Brigade movie is in the works for the future as well. Uh, so either way, today's episode of Rico's Brigade has Commander 55 over here and Glasden boarding an Imperial ship using stealth ships. These stealth ships uh, had basically... Um, reflectors on them that made them next to invisible uh, and they were untraceable so they managed to sneak in to the base here and unload and now they're about to surprise attack these uh, Imperial pilots however one thing that's fun is that Glasden does have new armor this season. New armor pog, new armor pog. Here is Glasden's new armor. I think it actually looks very, very sick. He needed a good upgrade. His old armor was cool, but uh, I mean, this is just spicier than ever. You gotta love it. Either way, guys, uh, without further ado, we'll get this thing going. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you have not already, and comment down below if you're excited for this season of Rico's Brigade. Let's get it popping here, boys. Alrighty then gamers, let's go ahead and press start right here. We're gonna go in slow-mo for the first bit here Remember Rico's Brigade is more like a cinematic campaign, so I will be controlling troopers uh, But for the start here, it seems like actually Rico's troopers uh, Well, they're Rico's Brigade troopers, but Commander 55's troopers over here seem to be doing just a great job of ambushing uh, These Imperial pilots over here most of them in fact actually backing off uh, and trying to retreat a little bit rather than take on uh, the spam fire of 55's troops. However, I'm not going to let them back off too much. I am going to send a couple of squads forward here early, early on and uh, try and get them up these stairs here. Uh, the rest can cover fire from the bottom, but uh, we do need to take the high ground before more reinforcements come in because they will be coming. Yeah, here come uh, some of the Imperial troopers. These guys were standing there getting, uh, you know, a little speech from officers or whatever. Wait, what the heck? Whoa, what? Gladstone's troopers are phasing through this wall? Okay, dude. All right, this map is bugged. Um, I might put these guys on movement mode hold in that case uh, if the map is super bugged and I'll just command them because that is silly. <laughs> All right, nice. Didn't realize that. All right, we're gonna send these guys out here. I think Glasden is going to have to get to step in a little bit here, uh, because I want to go ahead and distract these guys before they get into the hangar bay area uh, and start taking out some of Rico or 55's troopers over here. All right, eliminate the last of those pilots right there. Uh, 55 and the rest of the boys come join them up here. And let's solidify our presence in the hangar, and if any of these troopers over here start coming through, we could just blast them as they get there. Uh, there are more hanging out out there, which is a little bit scary. This guy is also phased into a wall. What is up with this map? Okay, whatever. It's fine. They're, they're uh, fake doors. Fake doors. That's, that's the lore behind that. All right, wait. So, 
Let's bump it up a speed oh, here. Gonna a um, we're going to go ahead and split up our troopers here a little bit. Glasden's troopers, that is. Um, and then we are going to... Okay, I was hoping they wouldn't fire right away, but it seems like uh, peace was never an option because now they are just full out uh, firing here. So let's let's keep that up. You know what? Just, just go off, kings. Just go off and uh, get the fire in that you want to get in. <laughs> because apparently y'all weren't waiting for anything. Y'all were just going to fire no matter what. Uh, we have caught the Imperials somewhat off guard here. It doesn't seem to be doing too much, though. We're not being very effective. They're not being very effective. So this is just sort of a long, drawn-out engagement here already, uh, which is fine. That is perfectly fine. All right, we've got troopers over here. It looks like we lost, actually, a DC-15X trooper. That's not great. Uh, let's go support these guys over here. Uh-oh. Ooh, one trooper decided to go in on his own. That was a mistake for sure. I'm also going to put uh, 55's troopers over here on movement mode hold. Make sure that uh, they don't suicide any longer. Forward, DC. 19 trooper is up front there. Nice job. He did some good blasting. Um, I'd also like a couple of troopers to hang out over here in case there is any flanking action. What just fell? A big old tubey boy just fell, apparently. All right, how you doing over here, Glasden? His troopers seem to be doing fine, uh, and the Imperial troopers seem to be doing fine. No one's really taking any losses. Actually, two Imperial troopers over here, uh, but this battle in the open here is just pretty even at the moment so i'm not too worried about that all right let's go ahead and send a squad over here to distract from the behind uh meanwhile the rest of 55 troopers over here can push into this uh at, -AT hangar area over this way and they can get to uh to firing on some of these imperials over here come on boys yeah we're just gonna we're just gonna burst in here and take this by storm a little bit that's what we need to do come on let's get more boys out here come on come on no, don't get in the ATAT. -AT. That would be probably a disaster. You'd probably blow up the ship. Oh, no, we're losing a few more scout troopers. All right, hold up, guys. Come on. Let's start concentrating fire a little bit here more. Come on. Yeah, DC-19 trooper, get out here. Wow, these Imperials have a lot of health. What the heck? All righty, then. I was not expecting that much health from these guys. All right, here's a couple more Imperial pilots. Those should be easy kills. I mean, they're Imperial pilots, after all. All right, Glasden's troopers are doing nice over here. We're going to actually flank around the left over here with some of those guys, and then move in with some of these guys over to the right as well let's go into normal speed here for a little bit and see how that goes all right guys start start firing start firing come on we have a dc-19 over here just spam fire nope he's already got to reload all right juke him juke him juke him juke him juke him they seem to be relying a little too much on cover fire here uh which is their mistake because at the moment we are doing uh, most of the dominating of the battlefield. All right, you heal up, please, buddy. Uh, Glasden, move forward with your troopers over there. And you got to remember, I mean, these troopers are also probably, uh, you know, lame duck troopers. Most of the uh, good troopers that the Empire had probably is already involved in the ground invasion force instead of this force right here. This force is more the force that was just sort of kept aboard the ships um, in order to, well, protect the ships a little bit. They're not exactly the elite soldiers that they send into ground invasions or anything like that. All right, moving in in the flank, the Summer Rico's uh, soldiers over here. Yikes. Okay, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. Back off, back off. Get behind some cover here, boys. Oh, buddy, you're too far forward. Ah, oh, yeah, sorry. Yikes. Okay. Wow. All quiet on the Western Front for just a second here. These troopers survived. These troopers survived. That's excellent. Uh, why don't we push forward a little bit here? Try and alleviate some of the pressure over there for those guys. That would be great. Also, maybe a few more of 55's troopers could break off and help these guys out too. That might just be a necessary thing to do at the moment. All right. And then 55's own boys over here. I want you guys to start pushing further down that way. This battle is yeah. All right. That's good. That's good. Uh, the Hangar Bay area fight is where I think I need to concentrate a little bit. All right, Glasden. You're going to rack up some kills for us here, buddy. Cover fire. Cover fire. Prevent these guys from uh, doing too much. Yeah, there you go, Glasden. Oh, he already had a kill before this, too. Glasden's up to dos. Dos kilos. All right. Juke, Glas Glasden. Juke, juke, juke. And then start a fire, and baby. That's what I'm talking about. Twa. Glasdin has twa kills. Ha <laughs> ha ha. All right, Glasdin, push forward. Bring your squad with you. Uh oh. Ooh. I might have overextended Glasdin. Uh, no, he's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Just get that guy behind cover. Nice job. All right, you guys, I think, can now push out a little bit easier. Hopefully. Push out. Start firing. All right, Glasden's troops, I need you all to come forward, too. Another one of those big old propane tanks there. 
Uh, falling again. Uh-oh, Glazin, watch out. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay, lots of heat, lots of heat, lots of heat. We bit off more than we can chew. All right, nice job, Glazin. Oh, with the double kill right there. All right, Glazin, run away a little bit, bud. All right, you guys pop out this way, maybe? I bet you could do some damage here. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, firing squad those guys. Firing squad those guys. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Firing squad those guys. Okay, good. Taking a couple losses, but we're doing okay. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, Glazden. Your troopers are, are champs. Come on. We, we're going to hold out. We're going to hold out here. Come on, buddy. I'll help. I'll try to help. I'll do something. Uh, spam the fire. Get on, boys. Come on. Oh, they're, they're just juking me over there. Oh, my goodness. Do we have any more? We do have some more troopers. Okay, we also have these troopers here. All right, flank around this side. All right, 55, how you doing over here? You guys still got some, some killing to do over here. There you go. Nice kill, nice kill. All right, push up. Push it on up here, 55. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. We need to take this bridge. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, they think they're about to... They think they're about to get a get a sneaky beaky little choke point going here. Well, guess what? I'm gonna just grenade that. I don't even care, bro. Look at that! Look at that! Oh yeah, that was beautiful. Oh my goodness! All right, we could do it again. Oh, a couple of them actually lived through that. Oh no, they're running now. Oh, they. Oh, maybe not. Okay, We've wait. Hold up. <laughs> yes, beautiful. All right, now push through and blast them. Uh oh. Uh oh. Guys down the end. Nice! Ooh, that soldier's got 10 kills. Unbelievable! That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Whew! Last few troopers in the hangar bay area are being dealt with currently. Well, they're trying to uh, take care of them. It's not working too well. Alright. 55, start working on the command center over here. Alright. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the long fight here, I think. We, we will take the long fight here. We, we got it. We got it. Alright. Yep, already one Stormtrooper down, two Stormtrooper downs. The long fight was the way to go. When you outnumber them at a distance like that, it's just easy pickings, man. Oh, Commander 55, you're way back here. Come on, buddy. Get on up here. All right, watch out, boys. There are more Stormtroopers up ahead. We're just engaging from a distance again. Wow, wiped. Wiped. There's only one Trooper left there. Holy cow. All right, come on. Let's just leapfrog on forward here and finish off the bridge. The bridge is... uh. Usually a tricky area, but this is a prototype ship, so it's very weirdly set up. There goes one officer right there. The rest of the officers are laying down on the deck up there. All right. You know what? I want to take take this by force. There we go. Oh, we took one out. Ooh, this guy's almost dead, actually. We'll use a different. There's another. Yes, officers don't know how to aim, bro. All right, give me the DC-19 trooper. Get on up here. Get on up. Huh. All right, reloading. Spam fire down. No. Okay, that's not great. What's going on over here? Uh, oh, there's Glasden. What's up, bro? You want to go in, buddy? I'm going to take this world by storm. Uh-oh. It's a good thing E-11s are poopy weapons. I still don't understand why the Empire chose the E-11 as their weapon. It's definitely a very, very bad choice. There we are. Now there's one more around here. We're just, we're like, we're like Predator, man, or Alien, or whatever that movie is, where you just sneak around the ship, taking them out one by one. Beautifully done. All right, the hangar is ours. Um, oh, there's still a few pilots out here. All right. Well, uh, Glasden's troopers, why don't you go take those two pilots on real quick right there? And uh, 55. Where's 55? Why don't you do the honors, 55? In honor of Rico. Let's get some grenadier action from you. All right, the last few troopers right there get taken out, and now we just need to grenade these last few bridge officers with 55 himself here. All right, there's three left. Yeet! Amazing. Let's see. Well done, 55. All right, do you want to just snipe the last guy here? Yeah, that's right. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, 55, I love you. Such a great character. 55 is one of my faves from Rico's Brigade, dude. Oh, he's a champ. All right. That just about does it right there for Rico's Brigade Season 5, Episode 1. The ship does manage to get taken. Um, losses were not terrible. We did take a few more losses than I would like. Uh, yellow are 
dead clone troopers red are dead imperials here um yeah we took we took more losses than i would have liked uh the element of surprise certainly did help us quite a bit here um especially the flanking route you know that was that was a beautiful little thing right there um so so we ended up doing pretty well blasting our way through this hangar bay area uh it also helps that we have commander 55 who is just an absolute chad uh and the rest of the troopers here can now get some good r and r from that little battle uh they did great they really really did Either way, guys, uh, there will be a ending cinematic to every single episode of Rico's Brigade from now on, um, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like button. It really means a lot to me. Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, comment down below what you think will happen in the next episode of Rico's Brigade uh, and how you liked the episode. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Commander 55 and Captain Glasden talked about a debriefing. That was some fine shooting you did there, Glasden. Proud of you and your unit. How was the losses? I believe it's how were the losses, sir. Glasden, nobody likes someone who critiques other people's grammar. Whatever. Losses were fine. They lost more than we did, but, you know, still tough losing soldiers. Don't I know it. Now, it's time to figure out what this Imperial weapon is on this prototype ship. Have the engineers check it out, try and dismantle it. If we can figure out what it does, might have a better idea of what the Empire is doing on this planet. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.